timing, son of a... Honey. <laughs> what are you doing? We can fix anything. Collision Specialist CSI, two blocks north of I-90 on 218. Hey there, Austin. This is Trey Muse from the Austin Daily Herald, bringing you some of today's top headlines. Although with the weather outside, you might as well call me Ice Trey. It is freezing. Bad news comes first today, unfortunately. Uh, it's a sad week for those living in Bremerton Apartments. A one-month-old baby was found not breathing Monday morning around 6.30 a.m. Police Chief Brian Krieger said the mother woke up to check on the baby and called police when she found it not breathing. The baby was transported to Austin Medical Center by ambulance and was pronounced dead at the hospital. No foul play is suspected, and there was no indication of trauma on the baby's body. Krieger also said there was no indication the child had been ill or had suffered from distress prior to the incident. And so, in slightly better news, uh, donations from Austin Hormel plant employees are in. Employees of the Austin plant raised $134,000 for the United Way of Mauer County, up $10,000 from last year's high of $123,743. This is encouraging for the United Way of Mauer County as it goes into the final weeks of the main campaign drive it holds every year. The United Way of Mauer County's campaign officially wraps up December 15th, but donations are received throughout uh, February, actually. Uh, the final campaign total will be announced at their annual meeting in April. And finally, uh, a little bit of good news. Uh, a guide dog lost in freezing weather has been reunited with his owner in St. Paul. Justin McDevitt, who's blind, went outside Sunday afternoon and his golden retriever Spaulding followed. When McDevitt headed inside about an hour later, he called for Spaulding, but the dog didn't respond. When media reports on the lost dog began to circulate Monday, a neighbor thought the pictured animal looked a lot like a dog another neighbor had found wandering the streets on Sunday. Spaulding spent the night in the neighbor's kitchen. So thankfully, you know, master and puppy were reunited, which is always pretty nice. Uh, I know the folks at the Mauer County Humane Society would agree. Uh, that is some of today's top headlines. For more news on your community, please go to austindailyherald.com. That's the way it was today. For the Austin Daily Herald, this is Trey Muse.